Hello and welcome to the Polo series. I'm Andira Lalwani here at the lovely Singapore Polo Club with Stein Welkers. Beautiful day today, Stein. Now, today is the International Pro-Am tournament. Tell me a little bit about this. It's the uh, second tournament in the Triple Crown series. Um, so it's uh, important to the, to the players that played the previous one to try and uh, win this one. So it's going to be very interesting. The team that won the last one is indeed in the final again. So it's going to be very important in a very hard fought match today. Okay, excellent. Before we go any further, let's have a look at the format of this tournament. Two groups of three teams each played in the Six Goal International Pro-Am 2014. Spirit Sports slash Headhunters, Elevation and Singapore Polo Club were in Group 1, whereas Group 2 had Tutanero, La Sarita and Paisano Dragons. The winners in each group would go head-to-head -head for the title and the runners-up in each group would battle it out for the third place. So, the final was between Spirit Sports slash Headhunters and Paisano Dragons and the match for third place between La Sarita and Elevation. All right, and let's get right to the action. We know that the first two teams that played on the day were La Sarita and Elevation. So let's go to the highlights of the game that decided which team will place third in this tournament. Here's a look at the teams. Team Elevation, led by Vinod Kumar, has five goaler Horatia Lorente, Vicky Nhelani, and Abigail Slater or Melissa Ko. And on the other side, Four goaler Augustin Andrada, Bernardo Bravo, Greg Parkhurst or Ali Jumaboy, and captain of the La Sarita team, Iqbal Jumaboy, who explains his team's strategy. It's going to be a hard game. We're playing against a very good team who've, uh, who've shown excellent form so far. So it's a question of good marking uh, and using our pros to the maximum. Off we go. Balls in play. Augustin Andrada, first to that, for La Sarita, off to the boards, he's been checked heavily there by Horacio Lorente, a little stumble from his pony and the whistle goes, when the whistle goes, the clock stops. There it goes, lofted, that's the perfect way to go, missed this time as Horacio sets off Melissa, Melissa sets off at speed on a little strawberry pony, keeps her eye on it, nicely done Melissa. She's got a lot of space there, nobody's really on to her. They're making it reasonably easy for her, she's still got it. She's taking it up to within 30 yards of goal. Back there by La Sarita, backed again by Elevation. Horacio now turns it. He's gonna see if he can just finish this off. No reason why he shouldn't. Look at that, lovely ball skill, and he's done it. And Tony Kite losing no time, the ball's in play again. Who's first to that, Horacio? There he is, look at that, just lovely stick work. It's a 51 inch, 52 inch stick, cane at the end, control, takes years of practice. And this is a field which is played on at least four days a week, very heavily, so it's not, a, it's not the carpet you like. So great eyes and great anticipation needed, pick up what are often very awkward bounces. A whistle gets blown. Simple, easy peasy, in it goes, another one for Horacio. We go. Augustin for La Sarita. There's the big bounce from Vicky. Horacio then takes it on. Ooh, overswung in the end. Augustin just takes it back a little bit further. Now we'll go for the, the backhand. He tries to do a smack off the boards for the ricochet, but missed it altogether. Which allows Horacio again along that bat line. He hasn't got much room to play with. Everybody chasing him, he's, he's doing it, he's done it, has he done it again? He has, that's a lovely goal from that angle, from where he started. Great goal for Horacio Lorente. So a very polyglot crowd on that field now. Augustin taking it down to that end as they've changed. Still got it, he's just doing the stick work now, that was always the problem, but maybe you get the benefit of that. He's tapping along, it got deflected off a pony in front of him, whistle went. Whoa. Big hit and a big red flag being waved. Goal for Augustin Andrada. Vinod Kumar backs it, picks up Horacio. Horacio Lorente, being shadowed there by Bernardo. Keeps control. There's the ride off, saddle to saddle. You can do that, that's perfectly legal. 
Alistair who keeps it. You know, yeah, he shoots on his own. He's got a good line there. That's going to be a goal, I'm sure. And the flag's up. Nice one for Horacio Lorente. Augustine, yeah. you're looking worried. No, no, it's okay. We need to, to get the, the good horses now and we can do it. There's still a chance. Yeah, sure, always. But good support there from, I think, Bernardo Bravo. He's told to leave it to Augustine, who knocks it upfield. It's going the right way for them. Looking pretty good. Now, Vinod's back there. He's got to do the skipper's job and get the back shot in. It's still there. It's still right on the line with Augustin Andrade. Can he just wiggle it round? Yes, he has. Well, bit of a road jam there. Whistle went. Horacio, lovely loft. Yes, that looked good. Turned for Horacio again. Towards that back line, Augustine defending this time again. Oh, but this looks dangerous for them as, as, as I think Vicky gets that one. Trying to get some space. Augustine launches a big one. That's a good pass to receive. Can any of the Blues get onto it? Horacio, oh, we missed the tail shot. That's a real opportunity for Blues. What have they done with it? Let's see, puffs of dust, but the whistle's gone. Within 30 yards, they have the option. Iqbal Jumboy, good man, that's it. Well, that's the result. That's the third place. Settled elevation. Come out, deserved winners there. Six goals to four and a half. I think it went really well today. We played well as a team. Uh, they were quite a balanced uh, fight, I think, and we prevailed. Our pros really did uh, well, and the number ones, uh, both the girl, ladies, were phenomenal. And I did a little bit of work, so it was okay. <laughs> We're going to slip into a quick break here. When we return, it'll be with the final game of the 2014 Pro-Am Tournament. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with us here on the Polo Series. As you can see behind me, both the finalists for this tournament, Paisano and Headhunters, have taken their horses and their places on the field to battle it out for the title. In the red, their Spirit Sports slash Headhunters team, led by Jonathan Gabler or Lin Lee Fong, four goaler Vakas Khan, the extremely talented Leah Salvo, and Lawrence Kong. In the white are Paisano Dragons, with five goaler David Bernal, Nico Pironi, Tan Hock or Ang Ban Tong, and Captain Ronnie Lim. Over to Stein, who speaks to both the captains. Okay, Jono, you've got a lot of manpower, a lot of horsepower, so is we've that going to be the advantage? Horsepower. We've got a few players on our team that we're going to be interchanging, give everyone a chance to get out there and score goals and, and win the match for us. But, you know, Paisano's experienced team, very strong. We, we, we're, we're hoping to do our best and take it to them today. You're facing a team that's got a lot of horsepower, a lot of manpower, so any specific... Uh, strategy to take for this one? Well, they already got advantage, right? They got two yeah. more players than us. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, we're going to stick to our strategy. Uh, we're going to play hard, I guess. Uh, you know, it's polo, right? Anything mm. can happen. And we're underway. There's David. David Bernal. Wakas Khan. Wakas. Our young Really strong prospects here at Singapore Polo Club. Nico Pieroni fishes for it, gets it for the Paisano Dragons. There's Lawrence Kong, Nico Pieroni. Nico backs it. And there's David Bernal. He's going to take that on himself. He leans forward in the saddle, but Leah's there to give him some grief. It's going all the right way for David at the moment. But I didn't see. No, it's gone just wide. Regains control, he has it. There's the ride off from Leah, that's the bump. She'll go for the near side backhand now. Get some of it, but not all of it. Nico turns first, backs it, picks up David. David Bernal, he's off here, he's free of the field, he's got support as well. This looks dangerous. Clocks it through, up goes the flag from Shona Kennedy and Greg Coops. There's David Bernal. I'm sure we'll see him hit some big ones during this match. But more importantly, is getting the combinations, the passing right. 
Nico just pulls clear, sees David's on the case. Now, here's the play coming up. Nico falls in behind, he's going to take it himself. Lawrence Kong tries to get on turns. Chopped up, David still has it. Wacker's trying to get on turns, but David again taking it into the middle of the field. He's clear, he's got it on his offside. This could be a tap in. No, just puts it wide. Bacas called his play. Play is called rather. Ooh, met absolutely solid by Nico Fioroni. He's got leagues on the field now. Leah going back as fast as she possibly can. Oh, she might be there in time just to disrupt that, but there is support there. Oh, no, everybody less that, and David had the easiest of tap ins there. So, David and Nico. Very quick work from Leah to anticipate that one. But David has it back, and there's the hit to pick up Nico again. Just deflects off his pony. Wakas tries to pick it up. Good hook from Wakas there. He turns. Nico's got to go for the back shot. He turns it. But Wakas will be first there. Backs it. He's got Leah going free at the front there. And she escaped the ride off. It needs to pick it up. But uh, ah, Lily, good work from Lily. That must be a goal. Go on, Lily. In it goes. Yes, it does. Goal for Spirit Hunters. Wakas just keeping an eye on him. He can't do much about it. Now he can. Now he can get the ride off there. He's trying to. But I think Davies just got, out, got the legs on him. Ooh, Ronnie, I think that was. Hefty swipe, but over the back line, no threat to go. Wakas hits a big one up for Lindley, but nicely backed by Van Tong, picked out of the air from Dabi, but Wakas saw that, anticipated that well, read it. In good time, here come four of them up for it, but Davi gets the first near side backhand up to Nico Pironi. Nice pass for him. Nico going well, that's heading the right way for goal. One more hit. Ooh, ooh, he chunked it and it's, oh, it's gone through. Three goals to one now. Straight through the tube. But Davi Bernal, quick to turn as ever. Wakas. Misses the back shot, David recollects. Keeps it protected on his offside. He could hit go all the way for goal with this one. It's going all the right way for White at the moment. That's a really good back shot from Wakas in defense. And he picks up his pro Lea Salvo. Yeah, fighting with it with Nico. Nico gets a super back shot, met by Wakas midair. Whistle goes. Ooh, slightly chunks it, uh, but, but, but. Where are we? Second chucker only. Nico Fioroni sets off with Bacas. Nico. He still has it. Backed by Bacas, quickly picked up there. David's going to try and turn it. Nobody's threatening him there. Ooh, he leaves it. He's got it now. Reds. That's a lovely shot from Wakas to pick up Leo Salvo. Leo's got about four lengths on chasing army. Leo's ahead now. Go on, go on, go on. One more. That's it. There must be. Well done, Leo Salvo. Fine goal from her. On that note, we're going to slip into a quick break here on the Polo Series. When we return, we will hear from the winning captain. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Polo Series. I'm here with uh, Lindley. Lindley, half, halfway down. How's it going? Oh, it's pretty messy out there. Paisano is really strong. 
having to think fast and when you think just a little bit slow they're catching up to you but it's a good game I think we've got a chance. Leah is playing very strong today she's ridden off a five goal or a few times scored a goal. She's been amazing I have to say that you know she makes the women players proud. Let's go to the second half and good luck. Yes. Restarts, changes direction. I think a Pyrene backs it into another pony, but Wakas has another shot now. It's a lovely pass upfield. I think he's going to have to follow that himself. Nico's first back. Here comes the back shot. Wakas, good eye, meets that well. He sets off towards goal. This is a great opportunity for him. And it's a mighty heave and into the Fleet Academy. It's that man, Davy Bernal. This could be a very quick repost. He doesn't make it, doesn't make the hit. Leah cuts it round. Saves the day for the moment. Nico's going to try and back it. Ronnie Lim's there. Wakas. And Tappy Bernard steals it from both of them, and that's a goal. All three of them need to take that one. Bacchus, he might have done it all on his own. That's going towards goal. Has he got the legs? It's got inches to go. And cleared. Cleared off the back line by that man, David Bernard. Ooh, and now he comes out, he's on his own. This sort of bit of stick work moves it forward. John Agabla trying to get back on terms. There's David at speed. Great picture there. Now Leah Salvo. Leah looks up. She's got time to take it around the field. Off she goes. She's escaped too. Ronnie Lim treads on it. It's not going anywhere for them. Clifton. Clifton Yo sets off. by the boards there somewhere. The uh, hook sticks with Nico Fioroni. Plays turned. Calls a back it, back it, but I think David Bernal is the one who's going to come up with it. Does. And a strong check there, real polo stop. David again, sets off, tap, 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 he's got free again, can he control it? No he can't, it's over the back line. Drops back for David. That's a super pass right on the far boards for Nico to pick up. Combined Billy to show that combination as David again just picking it up. Off he goes. Coming in field, angling it in. Leah watching him closely. Leah going for the back hit. Did she get enough of a bump? Let's see what the umpires say as the whistle goes. And that's it. That's the one. There we go. Leah falls in behind. Leah's moving upfield. Leah's trying to get onto that one quickly, but David's uh, first, I think. Uh, very athletic near side backhand from him. Uh, copes. Beautifully lofted. Is it got the angle? Yes, it has. Now, can Reds get back one more up? That will make a really good finish of this, Leah. Gets the sticks there by David. Clifton tries to just hook the stick, but White's are going to get it back again. David has it, it's got the lock to there on the boards, he turns it away. Right round, he has it, he looks up, sees what's on offer. Wonderful hit upfield, but uh, Red Player's going to be the first back to it. Leo Salvo. He got a bit of it though, that's uh, Ronnie Lim now. He's hooked. 
Nico backs it, try and get it towards goal. Wakas in defence. Nico again. Reds really need to come out now. This is what they needed. John O'Garbler. Go on, John. Well done. Picked up a difficult bouncing ball. Still going the right way. Took his eye off it. Played for the miss. Going for Reds, but Whites are going to take it. Off they go. Tries to get through on the crop of a pony saddle there. But David Bernard, look at how he's just looking at her, just trying to take her off the line. He can't afford to give up the line too much himself. Nice turn, nice hit. Now, Reds need to get onto this. Wakas is there. Go on, Wakas. Come on. Come on, make this last bit interesting. Leah, Leah, real chance. Can she just angle it? That was great defensive work from number one there for Whites. Oh, it's still right there in front of goal, and somebody scored number one, that's Wakas Khan. Well, and that is how it pans out in the end. Very well played, Paisano Dragons to come away as the champions this year. Lawrence, 6-5. How wow. close can you make it in the last 10 seconds? But, but we feel good because uh, they, they are a good team, and uh, so we put up a good fight. Uh, we had that chance, we could have done it if, uh, if we did better in some places, but I, I'm very happy, yeah. Hard fought game. And uh, yeah, you know, it's right up to the last ball. Last six five, six five in the very last ten seconds. Very close in the last ten seconds. Very close. They came. Very close. They, they came, came hard. They played at uh, the good team. You know, the game. It was a good game. Yeah. It looked from the sideline much faster yeah. than than even the pre the pre rounds. Yeah. Was it was it really like yeah. that? Was it much? Yeah. It was much faster. Yeah. I mean, basically everybody was going for it. You know, everybody wants to win. I Your mean, horse is going for it. You going for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is one of the best horse. And uh, the strategy I rode this horse. The last game, yeah. because the last chakra, my job was the man, and yeah, man. that's it. What a hard-fought, nail-biting game that was, a thriller right till the end, where Paisano finally clinched it with their six goals compared to Headhunter's five. It's time to go over to the presentation dais, where the winners, which is Paisano Dragons, will be felicitated. Well, the day is winding down and I guess it's time for us to say goodbye. What a phenomenal day, what a phenomenal game. It was a fantastic day, it was hard played polo, it's probably never seen polo as fast as I've, I've done today, so it was, it was a good day. It absolutely was, we'll be back very very soon and remember, as always, until then, may the horse be with you, goodbye. <laughs>